How's it going, veteran guardians and new light players? Cello Metals here with another Destiny 2 video. So today is Bungie Day. So happy Bungie Day to you all. And to celebrate, Bungie had put out the Moments of Triumphs for this year, 2020. So it's the same thing as last year of Moments of Triumphs 2019, where we had to complete unique triumphs for the Triumph Seal. And, you know, once we unlocked all the triumphs, we get the Moments of Triumphs Seal. So, for this seal, we have 28 triumphs. So we have more than last year's Moments of Triumph. So, um, again, we have 28 triumphs in total. Uh, as you can see, I've already got a head start on, on it, but if you want to know the reward, you should know it from the notifications sent on Destiny 2. By the time you log into Destiny 2, you'll know a notification saying about Moments of Triumph. It would say, Moments of Triumph has returned to Destiny. Raid reward lockouts are being lifted for the five featured raids. Complete the Triumph seal to unlock in-game and real-world rewards. So the rewards is going to be a Moments of Triumphs t-shirt, the Raid, Rig, and Emblem, three Moments of Triumph emblems, a Moments of Triumph Sparrow, a Moments of Triumph Ghost, Raid Cosmetic Rewards, and the 2020 Moments of Triumph seal, which will say 2020 in Roman numerals. <clears throat> Excuse me. So... As you can see in the Triumphs page I'm in, I've already unlocked 13 out of 28. And here are the following 13. I've unlocked the Sparrow, the Emblem, and the Ghost because of these Triumphs. So I've got the Triumph Apprentice and the Triumph Master. Both of these evolves the Triumph score. And if you want to know what the score is to unlock these, you can look on my top right corner. I have a hundred thousand on my triumph score. So um, if you want to unlock these, try to aim my triumph score, and you'll get these unlocked. Doing so will unlock you two of the hidden emblems, which I'll explain in detail a little later, right after I finish these. So the next one I unlocked was ordeal or no ordeal, which you know complete nightfall ordeal strikes. You also need to complete the Crucible for this season, the Gambit for this season. Just complete these objectives. You need to find all the K1 Lost Sectors on the Moon, Altars of Sorrow, Final Phase, Garden Salvation Raid, Pit of Heresy Dungeon, and the Prophecy Dungeon. If you've already done these before Moments of Trans kicked in, then you're good to go. That got you a total of 13 out of 28. Now, back to these two. So, these two unlock two of the hidden emblems. One of them will be the Sunset Emblem, the other one will be the Void Sunset Emblem. Now, these can be accessed through the Bungie.net account. So, to get these emblems, you have to follow the first two rules. Rule number one, log out of Destiny 2 and be sure you close the application whatever platform you're in. Step number two, you need to be sure that your platform account, either you're on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox, whatever console you've been playing or platform you've been playing on Destiny 2, be sure that your console account is linked to your Bungie account. There's been some complaint on the forums on Bungie.net saying that people didn't get these emblems it's because they either one they didn't log out of destiny 2 or two they didn't link their account properly so be sure to log out of destiny 2 and be sure that your account your platform account is linked to your bungie.net account in order for this to work if you got those two steps down then you're good to go so once you get this two steps done, go to your rewards page in the Bungie.net and you'll find the emblems there. Claim them and they will automatically apply to your collections tab. 
So once you done that, go to your log back into Destiny 2, load in one of your characters, doesn't matter which one, then go to your collections tab under the flare category in emblems go to your um i think it will be general go to your general tab and you'll see it there claim them and they will automatically be added to your collections as recently discovered for the emblems and the other rewards i will show you what they look like so for the ghost shell, it'll be the awakened shell, which I like it a lot. It's actually like you have a mini traveler with you, which is pretty cool. I like it a lot. And it has this little floating debris around it too. That's pretty good. But the disappointing thing is the perks. I like treasure hunter. That's a good perk. But I don't like Banshee's favorite. I don't know what's the point of having that perk anyway. But treasure hunter is a good perk. I really like it. And you'll get a random destination perk. I got like that 10% XP for the moon. Now for the emblems. It's going to be the accolades on accolades. I don't know if I spelled that right. That's the moments of triumph emblem. And then again these hidden emblems which is eclipsed void and savior but they were actually said like sunset and void sunset for some apparent reason um to me so yeah like this one was eclipse sunset and this one here is sunset uh by the time you claim these but they will say something different like eclipse void and savior yeah so those are the emblems and now the Sparrow, which is the next Moments of Triumph reward, is called Resurrecting Flight. It looks like a laser beam, looking at the model of it. But when you activate Thruster, look at it. It's like um, that uh, weird vibration you get on the... What's that ship called? Obsidian Wings from last season. Has that exact pattern, but... This one's orange. So yeah. Uh, the perks for this uh, Sparrow is custom drive, transmit preloader, and destabilizers. So go crazy with this Sparrow if you like. And those are the rewards I got so far. Now, I also got these following rewards because I pre-ordered Destiny 2 Beyond Light. Because I'm looking forward for a new chapter of Destiny 2. So I got the Beyond Light emblem and the really cool ghost shell, the rhymed shell, which is a really cool as a ghost shell. And of course, I got this. I got the freeze tag emote. So to put it safely like that, ooh, I didn't see a fellow guardian there. Uh, to put it simply, I pre-ordered the deluxe edition. So, not only that I will play the Destiny 2 Beyond Light, but I'm also going to be playing the next seasons after it. So, I'll be also playing Season 13, 14, and 15 for uh, Destiny 2. So, I'll be there in the future seasons. So, you're out wondering what's my plan today. Well, Bungie put a lot of stuff this week, and... It's a lot to process and a lot for me to do to record and to post out videos. So, uh, my plan is I'm going to be working on the Moments of Triumphs so I can complete some of the bounties or other Triumphs. Uh, sorry, I said bounties because of this. Uh, I have to finish Gun for Hire, Challenger for the Vanguard because these are pretty straightforward ones. I have to do trials victories by the time Friday comes around and season pass will be done soon by the time I do moments of triumphs so it won't take that long. Now exotic arsenal and like I said it's busy Bungie put a lot of stuff this week so it'll be really busy and it involves this. There are two uh, quests that are already out 
Uh, one is by Savala, which is the Exodus Preparation. Doing that, you'll get the Traveler's Chosen sidearm, which is an exotic version of it. And you'll get the second quest, which I have in my menu, in my quest tab, is called the Growth Exotic Quest. And you're going to need the means to an end quest to complete the first step of it. Completing uh, this quest, because there's a lot of steps to it, but by the time you finish this quest, you'll get the new exotic trace rifle, Ruinous Effigy, which is the second exotic weapon that we need to add to this triumph. And by the time you get those two exotic weapons, you'll unlock exotic arsenal. And that's pretty much it. But we also need to keep an eye on Hive God Optometris, which is finding all Savathun's eyes. And I don't know about these three. These three have been always been hidden since uh, the start of Moments of Triumph. So I'm thinking these three might be involved in the Solstice of Heroes because we have that event going on. It's always a special summer event that happens every time every year so uh we already completed two of the solstice of heroes this is going to be our third solstice of heroes i think that's our third i don't know because i i forgot a lot of time has passed but i know it was two solstice of heroes has already been completed so this is our third so I'm thinking those three secret triumphs are involved with that event. So if so, I hope. And that leaves me with the raids, which is pretty cool because the rewards are shaders. And unfortunately, I almost got everything, all except for Spire of Stars shader, which is Callus's shadow. I never got that shader, which I'm looking forward to. Oh, I, I don't even have Callus' Preferred either. Huh. I guess that's two, I guess. But the good news is for those who are new to Destiny 2 and want to try out Spire of Stars, you can get this emote. I got my emote by playing on my Hunter. If you guys didn't see my short video on uh, of me playing as a Hunter in Spire of Stars and got that emote, I got it the hard way. Now, those who never got it, can finally get this email the easy way. What I mean easy, the easy way. You complete this, you get it. So I consider you guys lucky. Um, but for me, it was fun. I had a great moment with it. So I wish you luck. And yeah, so I'll be focusing on it in parts one at a time. So by the time I finish one or two triumphs, I should be able to unlock this, the Bungie Rewards Tribe shirt available. So once that's unlocked, I'm good to go. And that'll be, so that's 15, that'll be 16 out of 28 soon. So I had to plan things out. So in the meantime, that's all I can tell you for now. Um, and what I've earned so far. So I hope you guys understand and I hope you guys find this video useful if you did uh leave a like and subscribe if you want to see other destiny 2 content check out my friends youtube channels gearbox and just another gaming channel uh for their destiny 2 content their youtube links will be in the description box below and also don't forget to check out my twitter at cello metals to get notified and for extra content Thank you guys for watching. Cello Metals is out. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess because of this, it made my character go a little farther. Ooh, that's a weird thing. Uh, I better keep that in note. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Cello Metals is out. And stay safe out there.